shows that the pilots could not believe what they were chasing. Team 12's William Pitts brings us the story that you won't see anywhere else. According to the police report, this was far beyond a commercially available drone like this one, and nobody has any idea who was flying it or why. A high-speed chase thousands of feet above Tucson was something even the cops couldn't catch. The first time anyone saw it, it almost crashed into a Customs and Border Protection helicopter at davis Monthan Air Force Base. Tucson PD put up their helicopter to find it. According to the police report, the Tucson PD pilot called it a very sophisticated and specialized drone. It had a green light on its belly, but they could never see it, not even with infrared goggles. They chased it all over the city. Here's the flight path of the helicopter. They circled at least 14 times, going 100 miles an hour. And the drone kept evading them, even circling the chopper at that speed. Finally, one of the pilots said the thing went over the top of Mount Lemon, more than 14,000 feet up. That's when the helicopter started running out of gas, but the drone was still going more than an hour later. To understand how bizarre this is, you need a little basic drone knowledge. Now, this is one of the drones we use here at 12 News. We're only allowed to go 400 feet up in the air, and really on its best day, it's only going to go about five miles away from the control station. And no commercially available drone will be able to go more than a half hour without a battery change. Whatever Tucson PD saw blew past all of those limits. What you'd be looking at would be a hybrid system. So it'd be something like uh, uh, maybe a, a propane-powered electrical generator. Vic Moss is a drone expert with the Drone Service Providers Alliance. We sent a police report to check it out. This is not a normal drone. Vic says what this drone did is possible, just very hard and very expensive, like Department of Defense expensive. I would say it's almost a drone that got away from somebody, but... <sighs> There's all kinds of weirdness in that report. The pilots said in their report that they couldn't really see what they were chasing, but with two pilots plus the air traffic controllers, it leads Vic to believe the helicopter pilots did not make a mistake. So the credibility of the witnesses, the fact that there was more than one, they probably didn't get it wrong in the fact that something was there and it was probably a drone. So what was it? No one really knows. And the FBI and the FAA definitely want to know what this was, because if it had hit a helicopter or even a plane, it could have done some major damage. So far, the only thing the FBI is saying is that they're looking for tips. William Pitts, 12 News.